Hey everyone, you're watching the baddest man on the planet, Transaaron38. And you know what that means? That means that this channel is for adults only. So if you're under the age of 18, go somewhere else. Yo, what is up fellas? I'm back with another awesome Transformers review. And today we're taking a look at the new Transformers Studio Series 81 Transformers Bumblebee movie, Wheeljack. And uh, this just arrived in the mail today from Amazon. Uh, Amazon was shipping up my pre-orders early. I was super excited about that. And uh, no, it wasn't pre-orders. No, I just ended up getting them on there and bought it. They were available the other other day. I think it was Monday. Uh, they were just uh, available uh, one day of the week. I can't remember. But uh, they were available for purchase on uh, Amazon without being sold out. So, which was pretty cool. So, ended up ordering them. So here is Will Jack. Will Jack, out of all these guys, uh, is the one that uh, is the favorite one out of the bunch for me uh, so far. But until I get them in hand, we we'll never know. But anyway, he's a deluxe class figure. So let's get him out of his cardboard and slight plastic prison and see what he's all about in the Transformers Bumblebee movie uh, series uh, of the Studio series. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Cue that awesome, roll that awesome music intro. Transformers Addicts, I am back and got him out of his cardboard and slight plastic prison and there he is, Wheeljack in all of his glory. Very cool. Love the packaging art. You got the Studio Series 81 Wheeljack and he's the deluxe class. You got the same nice artwork over here on the side. Very cool. Right here with the Autobot logo right there, seen through on that plastic. They don't have to have that plastic window there. You can just, they got window right here and it would be, be good. But uh, on the back, you got your obligatory product shots. He transforms in 31 steps. And it's a Cybertron fall scene from the Transformers Bumblebee movie. And uh, yeah, there's his vehicle mode and there's his robot mode. Hey, yeah. So that is it for the packaging. So moving right along, here is Wheeljack. You get that awesome back prop, uh, the Cybertron fall scene right here. And uh, you can just uh, send it off to the side there for your wheel jack and uh yeah it looks really good now you can have it have it sitting up here like yes if you want and uh for the rest of you but i'm just gonna sit it back here so he can rotate around the stand but uh hey it is what it is anyway we'll have speaking of a stand let's take him for a spin shall we ah, me. and uh take a look at wheel jack closely here even more so here is Will Jack in all of his glory. It's a uh, very cool mold uh, that they uh, did with this, and a uh, little of a kind of a similar engineering with the legs that they did with uh, the B127 mold. Um, and uh, I like what they did. And uh, yeah, not much, not much on the legs. I was like, like I said, the legs is the only thing that reminds me of the B127 mold, but everything else is a completely different mold the way it looks to me. Uh, but yeah. Would be nice if those uh, wings were actually like a silver, but hey, you can always get the I can always get the silver chrome pen out and hey, or pop them off and then paint them and put them back on. It looks like you can pop them off on the back, but all in all, there is Will Jack. Get in there on the head sculpt. Very cool. If I can get him to focus. Very cool head sculpt going on there with a Will Jack. It's all about logo right there on his chest. Got the red, green. And a creamy it's a he's like a creamy white color like a like a he's not he's not like white white but he's like a, a creamy white like a dirty white uh, it, it's kind of hard to ex explain that one but uh he does come with his gun you can peg his gun in his hand here which is super tight she said or there's a little peg hole right here in a port and peg his gun on his back for storage you really want to but anyway there is damn I'm trying to put that gun in his hands like super tight articulation on him you got the heads on the ball joint very nice got this right in here 
Don't like it how this comes untabbed every time you uh, move his shoulders around here. You got it on a ball joint there. Mushroom peg on the bicep swivel. Double hinged elbows due to transformation. Nothing in the fist, unfortunately. You got a waist articulation. This, that. And you get the swivel right there, the thigh right there, part of it. Nice knee joint. And then you get the articulated feet. It moves in and out on a rocker. And uh, you do get ankle tilt to a point. So. So yeah, so there is Wheeljack in all his glory. But with the with the official pit, uh, figure, you always with the with the back prop and all that, you do get the official instructions that comes with this figure. So very nice Studio Series Transformers Bumblebee Wheeljack instructions. Forgot to show that off, but yeah. Anyway, moving right along. Next up is the transformation of his robot mode after we get some size comparison then shall we yeah anyway a size comparison we'll go ahead and bring in uh studio series i think i think this was one of the buzzworthy ones uh buzzworthy the revenge of the fallen bumblebee i think not revenge of the fallen but uh uh the first transformers movie i do believe um yeah it's his old camaro or is it or could have been the the charlie the one with charlie i can't remember but anyway, there he is with Wheeljack for size comparison wise. Get that out. And then, uh, obviously, Bumblebee once again as the B127 mold for size comparison. You see Bumblebee still tiny, still tiny. And he fell over. I'd fall over too, Bumblebee. Fall over too. And if you want to, here's a Voyager class Soundwave. Obviously, Soundwave's a bigger dude. No, Soundwave's a bigger dude. Reviews to his uh, minion will be coming soon here. But there's Soundwave. You know, obviously, you gotta have the Noble Optimus Prime in here on this so there's optimus prime yeah i put all about ladies on his shoulders so it's supposed to be yeah that's what i did yeah so yeah there's will jack with optimus prime yeah anyway transformation to this guy is very cool love it Love how he transforms into his vehicle mode. It's very cool. What you want to do here is undo his arms, undo his head here, bring it out, straighten it up right here, turn his head, whichever way you need here, but sideways. But uh, anyway, fold his arms up straight, like so. Cording his chest pieces out, like so. Very cool. I love how this transforms. Go ahead and bring this section. Obviously, rotate the waist. My bad. Now bring that section down towards. Now you can swing this uh, back parts around. And uh, I almost forgot. Don't forget to uh, take his blade, his wing blades in, and move them in with this as well. You'll tap those two sections together. That's the back end of the car. Now the cool thing is for the legs here, which is pretty cool, uh, go ahead and uh, take the kneecap here. You want to swivel this out, bring it out, swivel it out, and swivel it away, this way, up, oh, and then push it back in. Now you got that clearance here, so you can actually fold this section back and around, and you can peg it in here in a minute if you want. Hold that flat, bring the wheel section over, and it'll tab into place. It'll tab it in. That's all tabbed in. There's a there's a cool way you can always just transform them, so but this is how I transform them. But uh 
and take that, bring it up and around. Either way it works. Pull this foot flat. Rotate this section. Come on, camera, focus. Focus over, bring it over. It'll tab in. We'll tab the section in. Make sure they're tabbed in right here. The section's still up here. We'll get to that here in a second. Go ahead and bring this up. And you want to close the gap right there. Meet them up together. And push down on this. And this will tab in to that clear plastic. Which I hate. You have to tab something to clear plastic. And if you want to, you can fray these out. Or leave them straight. Whatever you want to do. I'll leave them out like that. And there is Will Jack in his vehicle mode. And then... Uh, there's a little spot on top of his uh, vehicle mode. There's a little tab right here. You can't tab it in on this one. It's a tab that's shaped for one way. And it's just this way. And there is Will Jack in his vehicle mode. And I dig it. I dig it. I dig it a lot. His vehicle mode is sweet. Sweet, sleek, and sexy looking. Definitely gives you that homage to the uh, Lancia Stratos. Uh, was it Lancia Stratos Turbos? Uh, uh, Lancia car freaking awesome. I love how they still gave us that stripe. Uh, can't wait till uh, Toy Hacks comes out with a label for this, dude. This is gonna look sicker even more. Um, by far, this is my favorite figure out of the of the new Studio Series Bumblebee movie wave so far, and uh, yeah, definitely not disappointed. So, yeah, very cool. You got the nice translucent plastic right here on the front, very cool. Got the little bit of green here, you got the red right here on here and you can talk about logo obviously this is his chest piece front robot mode but a nice little green striped gear going on the back very cool and you got clear tires you got clear tires here clear plastic tires painted with white over them look all right they look all right so yeah and then nothing much going on here with the back here you got the wings just hanging out back here this section is just just missing something, but hey, it's a Cybertronian mode, and uh, looks really good. So yeah, anyway, off to size comparisons, fellas. We'll go ahead and put in Cliff Jumper from the Transformers Bumblebee movie, which is uh, basically your B127 uh, re repaint, redeco <laughs> with a different head. Go and there is off road a Bumblebee. Now, I would I would have done uh, the B127, but didn't feel like transforming them. I already had Cliff Jumper already transformed because, yeah. But anyway, there's your size comparisons. There we go, and then uh, get Ratchet in here for size comparison review to come. Still waiting on Braun to get delivered. So yeah. So that is size comparisons here. Now the size uh, is really compared whenever you do pick up like a uh, a regular deluxe transformer, like a uh, like this well actually like a Voyager, as I, you can definitely see the difference of the Tetra Jet here with him. Like I said, he's a small figure. It's a small figure. So yeah, very cool. Once again, uh, it's like definitely, uh, definitely highly recommend picking this guy up. Freaking love it. Love the design. The design of Wheeljack is just, just awesome. I love it. I love it. Just love the design of Wheeljack. It's freaking awesome. And uh, definitely, whenever you can peg his gun in, whenever you want. When you want, whenever you want on them, it's up to you. But I, I choose to keep the gun off, but yeah. But there it is, with the gun. So yeah, for storage, yay for storage. So yeah, there's my thoughts on the new Transformers Studio Series Bumblebee movie, Wheeljack. And uh, definitely highly recommended uh, if you guys pick him up. He's a cool figure and uh, everything locks into place very nicely. Um, on my copy anyway um, everyone's copy probably would vary you know variations to it but 
it is what it is. It's just pretty cool how he does transform with all that. You do have that clear plastic there still, but yeah. All in all, very cool figure. And transform him back into his robot mode and tell you guys what my thoughts are on the figure itself. There we go, take it down. Yeah, the transformation, I really like the transformation of the legs are pretty intricate. I love it. Love how they uh, did the legs. There we go there. Swing that section down. There, bring that back so I can swing it. There we go. Very intricate to transform. And uh, very cool. And. So yeah, spin this waist around. Really just still not a big fan with those, uh, the wings on the back of his arms. And then uh, these pieces that's on his forearms here, back behind his arms here. Section up. It's like a tight joint right there. Bring it up. Pick it in. Get his head. Here we have Wheeljack back in his robot mode. And uh, he's a little loose still, but hey, it is what it is. So yeah. Anyway, uh, give him his gun. And uh, yeah, we'll call it an awesome day. So there is the new Transformers Studio Series. Uh, Studio Series Transformers Bumblebee movie Will Jack and uh, very cool figure. I highly recommend you guys trying to pick this guy up or try to find him in, at retail. Get a cool figure. Definitely highly recommended. So yeah. Anyway, without my blabbering on some more, there is Will Jack, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed this awesome review. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and please subscribe if you guys have not. And uh, don't forget to keep a lookout for any new videos headed your way. And don't forget to check everybody else's links out down in the description down below as well. So until next time, I'm your host, TransAaron38, talking again. I'm out of here. Later. It's time to transform and roll out. Yeah.